Yeah, who wants to start? Who's who? Who, who how are we doing this? Who just wants to let it out? So James is teaching me about math in this video. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to this month's episode of Swoosh brings on his friends to talk about fun things. Today we have the odd ones out, the pioneer <laughs> of school stories. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> When I was in seventh or eighth grade, I had a big crush on one of my classmates. And there was like maybe okay. 10 kids. I thought you were going to say teacher. And I was going to be like, no, no. what is wrong with you? <laughs> I had a crush on uh, one of my classmates because there was only like 10 of us in our little private school in my class. One day we were watching some like documentary in history class. And I was sitting next to this girl that I liked. And I was like, Ooh. you know, you can't mess that up. Um, but I did. I remember I like farted and like <laughs> she was like, did, did you just fart? And I was like, no, no, I no, I didn't just fart. I remember like being like, no, that was my desk. And I, w I literally started I shaking. I was moving it, see? Yeah, I, was, I started shaking my desk to like make a noise. It wasn't the same sound? No, of course <laughs> it wasn't the same sound. And I think I was even like, <laughs> see, it's the same, you know? What lesson did we learn from that story, Swoosh? Uh, don't <laughs> fart in front of women. <laughs> That's a good lesson. They'll never understand. The girls don't <laughs> fart, so. Swoosh. Can I ask you a question? Have you ever cheated? Well, I'm perfect, so no, <laughs> duh. I had a class, it was a math class, and we had a lunch in the middle of that class. We would have these like big long math tests, but they wouldn't split them up. So we would start the math test, go to lunch, and then finish the math test. Oh my and gosh. Like, so many opportunities to cheat. What were you expecting? You know, like- Hide what, the answers in the burger. <laughs> we would do the test and then go to lunch and then everyone in the class would like sit at a table just discussing the test. Just, oh my gosh. How do you do dude, number that's, 14? That's how do so you do dumb. number 12? It was great. No. That reminds me of something too. In our history class, we had this teacher who I mentioned in the teacher stories mm -hmm. video. Great guy. His name was Mr. Mead. I had Mr. Mead in basically every year. It was like seventh to 11th grade we had Mr. Mead because it was a small private school. The highest I would get on the test would be like a 97. And I Always wanted to get a 100, just for fun. Just want a perfect record. Exactly. So one day I came in, I was super prepared. I had everything in my brain. I was going to ace this test. Okay? Do you remember what the lesson was? Like, what was it about? Like, American history? Like, no, what, the, dude, the of course War? I don't. So I do the test, and uh -huh. then my friend behind me is like, dude, Susan is cheating. And I was like, dude, what? <gasps> what? My test is almost done. I look over and Susan, she had a bunch of index cards with the answers. <gasps> and I was like, <gasps> Susan. And like <laughs> Mr. Mead saw me and my friend talking about it. And he was like, will you boys stop talking? And I was like, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Mr. Mead. I get my test back and I got a 95. And I go, Ooh. huh? And it says minus five for talking. And oh. I was like, <laughs> You have got to be kidding me. And then that is when I was like, Mr. Mead, <laughs> Susan Wait. was cheating and that's why I was talking. I didn't cry, but you know. Uh, yeah, but you tattletailed a little well, bit. Well, dude, I wanted a perfect <laughs> you score, wanted the perfect man. He, you never got that perfect 100? Nope. I that never, perfect hundo? Dude, literally, for the rest of high school, I never got a 100 on a, one of his tests. Wow. This is like a weird topic. But one thing yep. I learned to hate because of school was pooping in public bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm like on the toilet or whatever, and someone's sure. in a stall next to me or like comes when I'm in. Doing my business. <laughs> I'm sitting there not moving a muscle. Like they know I'm there. Yeah. There's no way I'm making a little badonk sound in freaking <laughs> dead silence. They need to play music in bathrooms. Cause Dude, I totally agree. For real. It's so quiet. You like hear the door open. <laughs> You hear the I footsteps. Know, boom, dude. Boom, oh my god. And then they sit down and then it's silence. And then it's just oh, two dude. of you just in this silent room and then you just Was there a time when you had to be like I can't hold it in anymore. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Mead. I mean, can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> I, you know what I actually do remember from Mr. Mead is that one of the girls would be like, can I use the bathroom? And he's like, sure. And they would go. And then I'd be like, hey, Mr. Mead, can I go to the bathroom? Well, Susan's not back yet. And I'm like, <laughs> but Susan's a girl. Like I need to use it, Mr. Mead. We Come only on, have man. one hall pass. You know what's worse than not being able to use the bathroom? Not having a good VPN. What?
This video was sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN is a virtual private network that keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all the information sent between your device and the internet. This keeps your personal data protected from all those big bad companies or cyber criminals that want to steal it. Back! Back I say! Surfshark VPN swaps the real location of your device with a new one. This way you can virtually travel to any country around the globe. You want to watch Top Gun Maverick on Netflix, but oh no, they don't have it in the United States? Luckily with Surfshark, you can pay a visit to those little freaks in Canada in an instant and boom! you can kick back, relax, and watch Tom Cruise soar across the sky. Hey Tom! Did you know that Surfshark's clean web feature blocks ads and trackers allowing you to surf the web safely? Built-in antivirus protection and avoiding personalized ads are just some of the many other reasons Surfshark VPN is worth every penny. But as my gift to you, I will personally give you all three months free of Surfshark VPN. It's because I love you. <gasps> Click the link in the description and use my code SWOOSH to get three months free. Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Did you do prom at school? No, dude, we didn't have prom at all. Oh, you didn't even have prom? Like they didn't even do it? I remember telling my mom that I didn't want to go to prom. Like, this is stupid. I'm not going to have a good time. And my mom was like, you got to go to prom. You need to have that moment in your life. You know, and now, yeah. I'm, now I'm glad I did it. But you I never had really prom did. swoosh? No, I, I did. No, I didn't, bro. No. I would have saved that whole farting incident with the other crush. <laughs> I could have just been like, let me show you a good time. I'm sorry about that one <laughs> let me, let incident. Me you flowers. Did you have a senior prank? Dude, my senior year was during COVID, so it got really? like cut in half. When did you graduate? I graduated in 2020, dude. You're the class of 2020? That's gotta be like a title. At every family just... graduation until we're dead, we're gonna bring up how we were robbed mm -hmm. and no one's gonna care. Mm -hmm. Did you have to wear a uniform swoosh? Yes, we did have to wear oh. a uniform, man. It was like button up blue shirt, navy blue pants, black dress shoes, and a navy blue tie, man. A tie? Yeah, I wore a tie to school every day. Do you have a picture of this? I do have a picture of that. I gotta find one. This was me on the first day of seventh grade. Oh, look a little baby swoosh. In first grade, we would go to gym class. The teacher would like put deodorant on our arms and you might be like, what are you talking about? What? But the deodorant was called speed stick. And we thought that if we got this on our arms, we could run super fast. I fully believed it. And like she <laughs> would go, first grade. I was yeah, I was like, give me, give me a speed stick. And she would like wipe it on my arm and I get to start running, bro. I was like <laughs> zooming. Did you ever have a teacher that was pregnant? Because my first grade teacher didn't stop teaching when she was pregnant. And oh, that Lord. really sucked. You know, we're in first grade. This is like our second year of school ever. And this teacher is throwing up in the trash cans and had a very short time. Oh my time. gosh. Did she ever like see you eating your lunch and being like, I'm grabbing something and like grab it off no. your like little grubby hands and no. start eating it? We would like be doing like an assignment. We're like writing or something. And then just in the corner, I hear her. <laughs> Oh my <laughs> gosh, like the what? And stuff. There, there, we pat her on the back. <laughs> <laughs> that kid's probably older than me now. Oh shoot, you're so right. Oh my God. Wait, how old are you in first grade? Uh, like probably like six or seven, right? And you're six years older than me, dude. Yeah, so maybe oh you are gosh. that kid. Is your mom Mrs. Clark? D oh <laughs> yes! yes! <laughs> I remember where there was one day where my friend James, he carved bruh into the toilet paper dispenser. Okay, so he vandalized Mr. Josh Brolin, callback from the teacher's video. In the morning announcements, he was like, who wrote bruh on the toilet paper dispenser? And like, I remember James mm -hmm. being like, dude, that was me. And I was like, dude, you wrote <laughs> bruh on the toilet paper dispenser? So it was 2022. My cousin was like a senior, okay? And I sure, was like sure. helping out with the school's like field day with like activities. And I remember by the end of the day, the principal was like, we're gonna do senior hide and seek. I remember feeling so left out and I ran up to the principal and I was like, dude, my senior year was cut in half. Please <laughs> let me participate. I'm begging you. And he goes, all right, Nathan's gonna join too. And I was like, yippee! And I like ran out of the crowd and everything. My friend Tim from our last video that we recorded who choked on stage, that guy. Yeah. I was like, Tim, we gotta hide somewhere, dude. And he's like, okay, I have a great idea. There was this small room where the vending machine is. Above the vending machine, on the ceiling, there's a little door. On the ceiling? On the ceiling, like a very small one. Like an attic? Yeah, like an attic type thing. I remember in high school seeing it and being like, dude, wherever that goes, I don't know, I don't yeah. even know. So like Tim was like, I got this crazy idea. Let's get in there. Uh, that, that's gonna be a killer hiding spot. So we like got like chairs and we like oh jumped up there. It was like really hard to get up there. And like someone even like pushed our feet up, dude. Oh, 
no one can find us. We're definitely not supposed to be up there. <laughs> and we find this little crevice where you can like crawl under. Cause they start to find out that like we're up here in this room. So Tim tries to like crawl away. <laughs> They're in the walls. Dude, his feet came through the ceiling and they were like, <laughs> oh my goodness. Like his feet were like hanging through the ceiling and he like oh backed up God. and there were like two giant holes in the ceiling. Tim got like in major trouble. They were like, is anyone else up there? And he like looks back at me. Nah, there's no one up here. And he went <laughs> down, dude. And I stayed up there. <laughs> I was up there and I remember like a teacher at one point was like, Nathan, get down from there. And I was like, okay, yeah, sorry. Okay. Game's <laughs> over. <laughs> Here's the picture. Oh my God. Dude, I regret nothing, man. You know? <laughs> yeah, that was good. Well, thank you for joining me, James, on this adventure. But adventure? Know? I've been sitting in my chair this whole time. I'm looking at emails from like 2014. I was in high dude. school then. <laughs> you were in high school in 2014, dude? I graduated in 2014. That was like 10 years ago. Oh. <sighs>